Hey guys, what's happening? So, I'm dialing in my CB radios, and I just actually welded in a mount in the back of that bumper right there, so you can see that big, um, uh, big antenna I put up back there. But I wanted to kind of create maybe like a ground plane. Like I know I'm getting a ground plane from the bumper. Um, so yeah, don't look at my weld. I gotta clean that up. <laughs> yeah, I was having welding issues over the rods. Um, so, um, yeah, take a look at this. So I'm actually going to put a bigger mount here, but I wanted to create like a double pull of ground plane here. So I was going to machine like a mount and put like a, like double, um, maybe even just some sort of ground plane, but I got to run a ground strap to it. So yeah, I just ran a wire. Like I said, I weld this about a week ago. Welds are horrible, but, um, yeah, the only way to get good at welding is to, you got to do it a lot. So if you to my channel, I have like a small machine shop in here that I made. It's all like offer up stuff and a lot. So I have like a 3D printers. I can do ABS. Got a CNC router. Um, that CNC mill back there. I think I should do that. Um, CNC lathe, which I don't use very much. And then this is another one I paid 600 bucks for offer up. But So I was going to change the mount. I got this Wilson mount here. And... I wanted to cut this down. I wanted to sort of create like a like a backplane device, you know, and have two little radials coming off the back. Um, I know it's. I mean, because I'm actually in front of that on the hood. Like I, I like to run a shorter antenna when I'm not actually like a, when I don't need it like just for like around town. But I wanted to improve the the ground plane issue, so. Um, maybe lower my SDWR a little bit. But like I said, I know because my, my roof is like a big uh, ground, so that creates issues. So I'm actually going to change this bit. I'm going to drill a hole in that uh, for this size right here. And then I'm going to put a couple like radials, holes for radials. This is my first center drill here. There's, there's already a hole. This is some existing material I already had. I don't even know how sharp this bit is. Material horn. I guess I'll just tape it up. I don't know how bad the center hole is for us now. Okay, I think my heads are just really loose. We're not loose at all. Really, yeah, don't. Yeah. I had to sharpen the bit. It was really just a uh, drill bit. I sharpened it up a little bit. I had to use one of those drill bit sharpeners. That was a ton of drill bits I needed to sharpen. Yeah, because I'm just doing it by hand. Alright, so now i got to cut it down. I need to get this, uh, you know, this is obviously too fast. I need to get through the mount here. So I'm going to probably take off about half, half an inch. Alright, so here I'm going to cut this off. Because I need to be able to get through that, that plate that I showed you. Um, so I need to probably take about a half an inch off here, but you also need enough room to get these radials on. So I gotta screw and tap these radials in there. So I'm just gonna do two radials, I can't fit three. Um, two is better than nothing, I guess. But we think the bumper would act as a ground plane, but hopefully this will improve it. That's to be a little bit. Right, so I have that piece of flat in the back just to kind of see if I can keep it straight. Right, let's go here. So I'm gonna try to get this in one shot. Actually, I don't even want. I, want, I actually I want both my hands on it. So um, I'm gonna try to go through this in one shot. If I because if I try to do it in two shots, I'm worried about the the uh, what's it called the, the plane with the ground. I forgot the, um, the rods not to be straight. So I'm gonna try to make them as straight or as even as possible. You know. So I'm gonna try to get this in one shot. All right, so now I'm gonna tap those holes. Um, I forgot it was American thread. 
So originally those poles were for my 3D printer, if you wonder what those were from. I had them all, I powder coated them. But they were support rods for one of my early 3D printers probably like six or seven years ago. Stainless is definitely not the best metal to use, conductive wise. Um, i get that in there. Actually, I'm going to drill another wire or another hole up here because I want to put a ground wire directly on this thing, right from the from the chassis or right from the frame rail. As you can see, see how, uh, yeah, I mean, straight wise, it'll kind of, I mean, you're not going to be able to tell, but it's, I mean, I can see it's off by about a millimeter. Um, it's probably going to be more obvious once I get it on the car, but all I have to do is bend the rods to make them parallel with the bumper. All right, this could be a total waste of time, though. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so this will be the end of part one. So in part two, I'm going to install it. We'll do some SWR tests. Um, I got to 3D print some end caps. I guess the cool thing about that is I could actually extend it, too. But let me show you the original the original antenna I had, at least not this antenna, but my original idea was to have it sort of even length, you know? I can't go too much further because it's going to go outside the car. But, you know, this will give me like a, like a ground plane up. That was the original idea. So, all right, let me know if you guys think this is a dumb idea, a good idea. Let me down below in the comments. Um, so, yeah, I think, this, I mean, this will ma it makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to you. But you're having like this ground plane right here, right under the antenna. So, all right, guys. Cool.